you serious? Are you serious? Ebola in the eye. This is what's happening. Unfortunately, folks, Ebola has been found in a doctor's eye just months after the virus had left his body and had been cleansed out of his blood. Uh, for the first time, Ebola has been discovered inside the eyes of a patient months after the virus was gone from his blood. So Ebola has infected more now than 26,000 people. Now that's the World Health Organization's numbers since December of 2013. So in a little more than two years, 26,000 people have been infected. You could take that number times five because the... Uh, the statistics are way being reported way low. Now, some of the survivors have reported eye problems, but how often, they don't know, because no one was looking for a return of this thing. The virus also is thought to be able to persist in semen for several months. So the new report concern is because Dr. Ian Crozier, a 43-year-old American physician, diagnosed with Ebola back in September of last year, 2014, uh, while working with the World Health Organization in Sierra Leone. He was treated at Emory University Hospital Special Ebola Unit in Atlanta, Georgia, and was released in October when Ebola was no longer detected in his blood. But two months later, he developed an inflammation and very high blood pressure in one eye. What? Which causes swelling and potentially serious vision problems. He returned to Emory in Atlanta where op ophthalmologist Dr. Stephen Yell drained some of the fluid um, and had it tested for Ebola. It contained the virus. But the tears and the tissue around the outside of the eye did not. Um, so this suggests that casual contact, according to the World Health Organization, with Ebola, this shows, uh, poses no public risk. Time out. This says we don't know how strong this disease is. Don't tell me. So this means, don't worry, you can't catch it uh, with casual contact with people. Look, you thought this thing was gone. You reported that the people are cured, the man is cured, when obviously Ebola's in his eye, which means we don't know how this disease works yet. We don't really know how it spreads yet. I mean, it's not in your blood, but it's in your eye, which means this is a mutating virus. I'm going to ask the tough question. Ebola's been around for ever. But we've never seen anything like this. I'm asking the tough question. Was this virus manufactured in a laboratory somewhere? Is it souped up? Is it, you know, is it a hybrid? Is it some type of new uh, potent mutated <laughs> virus and was tested? in West Africa because the people of West Africa said that they would come and spray around their village and then people would start coming down sick and prior to them spraying no one had Ebola. Now it's easy to just blame it on well they don't have good sanitation and they might have had contact with others but you do have to ask the question is this some type of manipulated mutated virus and do we really know what we're dealing with? And I believe in Revelation when it talks about seven last plagues of the earth. You know, you might be dealing um, with one right now that's being that has started, and it starts because of man and bioterrorism. We will wait and see. But the Ebola saga is not over. Just because Obama chose an Ebola czar didn't make it all go away. Instead. We have went from Ebola czar to Ebola is bizarre. Are you saved? We're running out of time. Give your life to Jesus Christ, and you'll have to trust in the blood of Christ in these last days to be protected from all diseases and plagues.